This is episode 141 of the Prepper Website Podcast. Today's articles are Evacuation Plan, How to Be Prepared to Leave Your Home, an interview with author and YouTuber John Theo, and herbal teas from medicinal gardens. Hey, I'm Todd Sepulveda, the editor of PrepperWebsite.com. This podcast is an audible version with some commentary of articles that have been posted on Prepper Website, a daily curation of preparedness information. These articles are some of the best of the best that have been recently posted on PrepperWebsite.com. All article links and show information can be found on the PrepperWebsitePodcast.com. Um, John Theo is an author and a YouTuber. He has a website over at JohnTheo.com. And, uh, you know, he's preparedness-minded. And so it's always interesting to get people's ideas and, and where they're coming from, especially people who are writing and are uh, putting things out there. So uh, hopefully this will give you a little bit of insight maybe and uh, help you out and maybe even, uh, you know, get you to go check out his books. Uh, so this is John Theo uh, from, again, JohnTheo.com. He's an author and YouTube, uh, a YouTuber. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your preparedness. Please include why you started prepping. I like to use the term awake rather than prepared as preparing to most lay people seems to be dudes and bunkers on the Discovery Channel. To me, a prepper transcends beans, bullets, and band-aids. It involves spiritual preparedness, getting right with God, physical preparedness, getting healthy, the aforementioned BBB, as well as being aware of socioeconomic conditions, U.S. and world history, and the list goes on. For example, if I had never wandered into prepping, I would have never awoken to the dangers of fluoridated tap water, GMO foods, corruption in big pharma, the NWO, a push for a one world government, and a myriad of other items that have nothing to do with beans, bullets, and band-aids. What are your main preparedness concerns? What are you prepping for? I acknowledge that we could have a solar flare or EMP or go to war with North Korea, but my primary concern is the $20 trillion in debt. It's It's immediate and could pop at any minute. So many people I know are either oblivious to this or think it's not a big deal because, quote, everyone else is in debt, end quote. Has your preparedness changed over the years and why? Yes, as I mentioned, I have evolved from the BBB, and that's beans, bullets, and band-aids, into skills and simply trying to get out of debt. I moved my family from the bustling northeast into the country and punched out of the rat race to buy a small business. I also see my business as a ministry as well. Times are going to get tough, and as I mentioned, people need to get right with God. Tell us about your book. What is it about, and why do you just, why did you decide to write it? Currently, only two of my four published novels fall into the prepper genre, White Mountains, False Flag, and Mission Trip. White White Mountains, False Flag follows a park ranger living in northern New Hampshire who uncovers a hidden cell bent on setting off a false flag on U.S. soil. Virtually the entire novel is pulled from news headlines from the past few years, from corrupt senators to government shutting down national parks to force the debt ceiling to be raised, to illegally spying on U.S. citizens, and ultimately a drone strike on U.S. soil. The false flag in the story is a powder keg any prepper on the east coast of the U.S. can relate to. White Mountain's false flag is one part Tom Clancy, one part James Rawls with a splash of romance, all set in the pristine mountains of New Hampshire. The protagonist lives in a log cabin and runs a Christmas tree farm with his wife part-time. The protagonist is also a homage to love of west my love of home my and a homage to my love of westerns. His name Ransom Donovan. Maybe your audiences can figure out which western that alludes to. Ransom carries a single action Ruger Black Hawk and a lever action rifle instead of the standard issue firearm. Mission trip. This is a futuristic retelling of the Pilgrim story. It takes place in the year 2077 where Christians have fled the despotic U.S. to live a high-tech underwater city called Atoll. The world is now a dystopian landscape ravaged by economic collapse, nuclear war, and famine. The residents of this underwater city are hunted by the world governments. They hate the freedom afforded the Atoll residents and want access to their advanced technology. The protagonist, Landon Faison, is a military officer who tries to stop his scientist son from going on a mission trip back into the world above the sea. Landon carries the physical scars of the last mission trip, which left 
him with the robotic lower leg and the emotional scars of being widowed. What feedback have you received from your book that is the most surprising to you? I get the normal feedback of good plot, character, etc. Ironically, the most consistent compliment is that there is no foul language and my stories are clean. It shows there is still a huge demand for clean stories in today's market. You can still have action, tension, and even violence set in a clean story. What part of your book would you like to make sure that readers pay careful attention to? The theme of the novels are important. White Mountain's false flag addresses the corruption of the current world, and Mission Trip shows a world that is, a very, is very realistic if we don't wake up. Could you paste in a paragraph from your book that gives a good feel for what readers will experience? Here's an expert, excerpt from White Mountain's false flag. I think we're going to have to call it. Suddenly, J.D. shouted, look at two o'clock. He briefly let go of the helicopter's collective and pointed towards a very small space between some trees about a mile away and directed the helicopter over to it. Ransom could see a small patch of bright green surrounded by what looked like a shifting mass of brown. That's definitely something, Ransom said, lifting his binoculars up. As they approached the area, the brown shape came into focus. There was a large bear hovering over a male's hiker's body. The bear looked up at the helicopter, revealing a human body with a shredded green jacket lying under it. When the bear moved, Ransom could see that the hiker was dead and had been partially eaten. Bile rose up in his throat, and he looked away. What else would you want preppers to know about your book? The novels, especially White Mountains, are very gear-heavy, but unlike most prepper fiction, they do not teach about prepping skills. It is straight fiction. Tell us about your website, podcast, or YouTube channel. What is your main focus? I run a YouTube channel under my name, John Theo, where I cover everything from prepping to religion, politics, and the craft of writing. All my novels are available where all ebooks are sold. Some are also available in audiobook. You can also log on www.johntheo.com. Do you have any upcoming projects that listeners might be interested in? The sequel to Mission Trip will be released later this year. Look for Mission Trip, Genesis and Exodus, out in late 2017 from Clean Reads Press. In the sequel, I finish the story arc from Mission Trip, but also tell the prequel backstory of how the world actually collapsed and how only a few global elites run everything. In Mission Trip, Genesis and Exodus, a vile globalist finds redemption and saves hundreds of thousands of Christian refugees. What would you like to say to the Prepper Website Podcast listeners? Number one, if you get into prepping, you must never do it out of fear. The Bible says over and over not to be afraid. If, you, if you're simply watching the world and paying attention to the mess, it's in and tacking left or right, that's fine. But prepping from a place of fear is not a good place to work from. And two, Trump is not Jesus. If you think he's going to fix everything, you need to reevaluate the world. I think at best he will buy us some time. So where can people find you? All my books are available where all ebooks are sold as well as johntheo.com. My, my YouTube channel is under John Theo and I'm also on Facebook under my name and my book and my book names. All right, so there you go. Uh, maybe some, some of you are interested in going to check out uh, some of John's uh, books and definitely his YouTube channel. Uh, I will link to his website, johntheo.com. And uh, you can go over there and then there's links to all his uh, to social media and uh, his books and everything if you, uh, you want to go check all that out. So thanks, John, for being a part of the podcast. 